So now here's a um, little tricky part. As you can see, we are using Map Builder, and that comes because we are using a builder. Inside here, you can see a Trophy Map, but we are passing um, a call uh, function as parameter. Why we are using that is because our idea in the future is, uh, as you can see, we are we are using uh, Flutter Map as library. But the idea is to give us the option to use Google Maps or Mapbox or whatever type of map what you can have. So here, as you can see on the builder, the map builder is um, sending the current context and also the trophy controller. So the trophy controller is basically containing the information what's going on inside the trophy state. If we fetch another, um, okay, no connection. Maybe I just reload. Or something break, okay. Maybe our development server just died. <laughs> yeah, too sad. <clears throat> okay, then continue. Um, I don't know what uh, what happened with the current development version. Uh, it's in this uh, backend is. Uh, um, development version, so that's not in production, that nothing related with Soren. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, um, this, that's already working again, uh, maybe uh, as I already show you what was happening. Uh, as you can see, uh, we, um, we need to to send some builder. So this map um, map builder is is going giving you the trophy map controller. The question is, what is trophy map controller? So we can go inside there, and the trophy map controller basically is um. The, the information what we can provide from the trophy core to each map. So as you can see here, you can we can provide the itineraries. We can also have some some behaviors like clean the map, like move bounds, like select itinerary. And this the, this thing is also important because as you can see, it's also possible to click each itinerary on the map. So that's like a callback in coming from, from, from the from, from the map and we need to take into the qubit. So here you can see we are using the plum and also we are using that one and it's a little bit more more complex and diffy and a little bit complicated to explain how it works. But um, you need to de de debug it or um, try to understand by yourself, I guess. It's a little bit hard to explain how it works, if especially if you don't have a lot of experience there. So uh, also we have the trophy map state where you can see the trophy map um, layer, the two marker layer. Um, that's only valid for a trophy. Uh, for, for the Flutter map because the icons or or the lines or everything what you can draw inside or adopt the map is basically another layer. So that's why we have um, marker layer options and also we have the, the polylines and that's what we are drawing inside the map. If we go back again to the trophy, trophy map, and let's see what uh, what is um, using here. As you can see, we are uh, we are using the trophy map router where you can have uh, the whole layers or the markers. Then you can see we are using trophy map. This trophy map is already the 
the library, if we go to the pub dev here, I'm not sure if you are uh, if you are already familiarized with that, but they and they also have a lot of, of information on the readme. So here you can see that there uh, they are they need all, all layers. The map itself is another layer. So if you re remove this one, you will just see your marker with nothing be with no map. So as you can see here, uh, we have a trophy map and also we have a layers builder. So here um, uh, we are, uh, I'm not sure how it's working, but basically what we have here is the, is the response. So here, the, the first one is the unselected polylines layer. So if, if this state is not null, it will um, send as um, part of the list. So that's doing, the, uh, that's how it works each, each line. So basically they are a list of layers, okay? At the, at the last point, you have a markers layer. So since this markers layers is also type of layers, that's also what you can send. As you can see, this is the layer option. So you can see all, all layers, so the unselected. So for example, for, for, for getting more visible, you can have here from marker layer. And from marker layer is basically this, this circle here. Okay, and and this other um, icon should be the true one. So if we hide it and I say save it, we can see the changes. Well, it doesn't work as expected. So. Uh, Maybe the from layer is on, on another side. Maybe Gustavo can help me there, but I expect that that works as it. Maybe I can just hide this one and try to see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The the marker about from in true was in this one, as I hide it, and there is no no more the from two markers here. So basically. That's how works the the trophy map, and I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how how it works. Mm. Okay, uh, then here you can see we have on tap, and on tap you can press. Uh, that's basically getting the the current status when you press on it on each uh, marker, and that's calling calling up. And and that's uh, and the, and the and this one is a callback. What we have uh, inside the 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 trophy map root. Um, yeah. Okay. As you can see, this is the the itinerary. When when you press one of them. It will it, it 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 will take take one of the itinerary what you can have uh, getting of the point if that's not a null um, it will um, call the qubit function what is says sell itinerary and it will just update the current state sending the current itinerary as you can see on the states what we have be before is a from to uh, objects and also the plan and the current itinerary and that's how it works. So the um, 2 map is a little bit more complex and even I didn't understand really well because I didn't do that. Who who do that is Gustavo. Well, so if you have um, some questions about here or more complex questions, maybe you could ask him on Slack. So so going back to the main behavior of the maps uh, is, as I mentioned you, um, 
we with we are planning to have a different types of maps. So the the idea is to bring um, your own implementation of map. This this one this trophy map route is the implementation of the Flutter map. So if we return here um, nothing like a con a container then the, the map will dis disappear. As you can see, there's no map anymore. Yeah, so that's uh, one thing what we can improve here. So we can have the implementation of Google Maps, then you can just send the, the Google Maps and inside the Trophy Map Controller should be everything what you can uh, what uh, what you may need, as I mentioned be before. Um, that is all of the maps. Um, here you can see also the buttons, also the the markers. The markers is also type of, of marker. Here you can put the point of the, the the size of the marker, and there are a lot of um, default values already here. Okay, I think that that's it about the maps and that's it about the Flutter. Uh, I know th uh, that's not really, really going deep into the details because there are a lot of um, piece of code and probably we may need more information and probably we may, we may need more people for trying to explain us, but that that was the overview.